Awesome Father, we just want to thank you for this beautiful day you've given unto us. We will bless your holy name, we magnify your holy name, we bow before you, we acknowledge you as our Lord and Father, and we want to say thank you so much for how far you have brought us. Take all the glory, take all the honor in the name of Jesus. Our Lord and our Father, as we begin to learn from you today, teach us Holy Spirit divine, and let your will alone be done upon our lives. As our children minister today in the name of Jesus, we will hear your voice through them and their message will bring hope, it will bring restoration, it will bring healing in the name of Jesus. And it will give us that assurance that the thoughts you have for us are the thoughts of good and not for evil to bring us to the expected end that you have for us. Amen. We just want to thank you, our Father, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 And today we'll be talking about the future. If there's anyone here who really knows what their future will be like, raise up your hands. If you know exactly, you have a perfect picture of what your future will be like, raise up your hand. When it comes to the future, let's face it, it's almost inevitable that worry will set in because we're not sure we don't know what will happen tomorrow we don't know what will happen 6 p.m today 6 p.m today is the future 9 p.m today is the future tomorrow is the future five years from now is the future 10 years from now is the future and there's no one person who does not worry about the future except of course we are lying we all worry about the future Children worry about the future, parents worry about the future. As a parent, I'll begin to look at, oh yeah, what will my children become? What will they go to school? Things like that. Worry. We'll be reading from Matthew 6. And I only have about seven minutes. The Bible divided that part into different sessions. The Lord was teaching on how to give to the needy. That chapter 6 is also teaching us how to pray. There we have the Lord's Prayer. That same chapter was also teaching us how to fast. And the latter part of the chapter, Matthew 6, was teaching us why we must not worry. And this is where I'm going up to today. Why you should not worry, especially about your future. You see, Every time something is repeated, is ascertaining something, is giving assurance. Amen. So in the latter part of that Matthew 6, the Bible said that word, do not worry five times. Five good times. Let's read the Bible. Matthew 6, 25. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is, is life not more important than food, and the body more important than clothes? Look at the birds in the hair. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? And why do you worry about clothes? 28. See how the lilies of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon, in all of his splendor, was dressed like one of these. 30. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you? O oh, you of little faith. The Bible ascertains that again. Do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the pagans run all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that they need them. I'll stop there. Up to that part, Matthew 6 has told us not to worry four times. Don't worry about what you will eat, what you will wear. Don't 
worry about all of these things. What should we then do if the Bible is telling us not to worry? Luke 33, he says, But seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. The Bible then reassured us again, 34, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Children, the scripture is telling us whether we worry from now till next year, we can add a single bit of skin or flesh to ourselves. I know you all worry about the future, what will I become? In fact, if you go for any interview, they will tell you, where do you see yourself in five years' time? The truth is, nobody knows. In fact, the person asking you that question doesn't know. Because life is not direct. Life can be lateral sometimes. Sometimes we plan that, okay, I'm going to be a doctor. But life will take you through a route whereby you won't be a doctor. You will be something else. But every time God takes us through a detour, we will eventually arrive where his plan and purpose for us is. That is what life can be. So children, don't worry about your future. What you will eat, what you will drink, the clothes you will put on, where you will travel to. Don't worry because the future for you is bright. Here are a few things that can happen if we worry. Worry, number one, can damage your health because there are consequences for worrying, even medically. If you begin to worry and stress, it comes with a baggage. Hypertension, blood pressure, and so on and so forth. Worry can cause that. Worry can actually consume your thoughts. So the only thing you will have on the center of your mind will be worried. You wake up worried. When you are in church, you are worried. When you are with your friends, you are worried. When it's time to sleep again, you are worried. The Bible is telling us not to worry. Number three thing that could happen, it could destroy productivity because you are so weary that you can't do anything. You are so tired to even get out of bed. Like someone puts it, all you want to do is hug your duvet and romance your pillow. When we begin to worry, this is when we feel anxious. The pressure comes in when we worry. The Bible is assuring us not to worry because everything we need is going to give to us. Amen. It negatively affects the way we treat others. We all know positive vibe, negative vibe. Worry can cause us to, to treat people badly because it is whatever it is we carry that we transfer to other people. Am I right or not? Right. Because if we are feeling really bad, we begin to act that way. We get angry at every little thing. We can't control ourselves, our emotions. We just do whatever it is we like. Worry can cause that also. And worry can reduce your ability to trust in God. We've seen that before. You see some people, when they begin to come to church, especially for new believers, if they are believing God for something and that thing doesn't happen, it makes them fall by the wayside. That is what worry can do. Those five things it can damage your health, it can consume your thoughts, destruct productivity. It can actually make us treat other people very badly and it reduces our ability to trust in God. There's a difference now between being worried and being concerned. Fine line between both. Worry will restrict you. It can even immobilize you. But when you are concerned about something, it can help you take action. For example, if in a local church like ours, we see that there's something lacking or missing, we could be concerned about it. And that concern can push us to do what we think is lacking. 
that is concern. But when we worry about things, it immobilizes us. It doesn't encourage us to move or do anything. It makes us static. So what can we do to stop being worried? I'm rounding up now. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you. God's promise to you, even before you were formed in your mother's womb, God knows you and what you will become. So you can't decide for God. You can't. Trust in him. Put him first place. And he will then take you to places you can never imagine or think about. Amen. This is God's promise. No matter what you do, no matter how fancy you look, or no matter where you walk or where you go to, put God first place. And he will take you to places. He will take care of your future. So let's not worry about the future. Let's rejoice in the present as we continue to plan for the future. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Awesome Father, we just want to thank you for your word that has come forth. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us that assurance five times in the book of Matthew that we should not worry about anything, that you will indeed take care of us. We thank you and we believe you that you will take care of us, you will take care of our children, you will take care of every father, of every mother, of every little babies amongst us. That in the name of Jesus, your name alone be glorified. We thank you for the future you have for our children, that we are sure that you will teach them in the name of Jesus, Amen. I pray to be their peace. Amen. It is well with them. Amen. Every day of their lives, Amen. it is well with them. Amen. They will do exploit. Amen. Their future will shine so bright, they will begin to make significant impact Amen. in this world. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we just want to thank you for your assurance. In Jesus' name.